Hey everyone, in this video, I will show an example of learning math uh, using GPT. And the, today's topic is uh, a calculus topic, finding the uh, limit of a function at um, either positive or negative infinities. And um, as you see that, the system GBT is not perfect in doing math problems. However, this is trainable. So let's start with the first uh, rational function. Um, in this rational functions, uh, we see that the highest power, x power, in the numerator is 5, and the highest x power in the denominator is, uh, is also 5. So then we know that there's a horizontal asymptotes uh, at negative 5 as the coefficients of the x to the fifth over 3 as the, co as the coefficients of x to the fifth in the denominator. So then the uh, chat GBT uh, gives the right answer for this question. So the next question is, what is the limit of another rational functions? But in this case, the highest x power uh, in the numerator is 4, and the highest x power in the denominator is 5. And as we know from pre-calculus that uh, given this kind of function, uh, we will have a y equal to 0 as a horizontal asymptote. So which means as x um, in, in goes to positive infinity, uh, the function should approach to zero as the result. And again, in this case, JATGBT gives the right answer. And the technique that is used is to divide every single term by the highest x power, which is x to the fifth, then simplify the rational functions and take x goes to infinity uh, to simplify all the term x to the negative 1, x to the negative 3, and x to the negative 5 in order to get to the answer of 0. But then the next question is about um, the limit of the another rational functions. But in this case, the power of the numerator is greater than the power of the, the, the denominator, the highest power. Um, and then it gives me an explanation. The answer is doesn't exist with the explanations of uh, using the limit from the left and from the right of um, the function as x approached to negative infinity, which is a little hard to understand. So then I ask us to use the same technique uh, of dividing every term by the highest term. So we divide uh, every term by the highest power of x, uh, which means uh, x to the fourth, then the result will give you um, the simplified versions of the function x goes to infinity, negative infinity is 5 plus 0 uh, divided by 0 minus 0, which is 5 over to 0. And we know that in the limit word, um, constant over to 0 is um, infinity. It could be positive or could be negative. And another way that we can use in order to determine whether it's negative or positive is to divide every term by x to the cube, and then it's got cancelled to 5x. And when x goes to negative infinity, 5x will go to negative infinity. So the next question is a, more, a little more challenging question. What is the limit of 3x plus square root of um, x squared minus x? As x goes to negative infinity, at first it simplifies the expressions um, Spread, let's simplify the square root in a uh, non-trivial way. So I got a got lost here. Um, so then I like I give it another prompt. Okay, so if you what if you use the conjugate term of three x plus the square root of three x squared minus x, then it uh, multiplied by the conjugate term and also divided by the conjugate term, which is a correct um, step. And then up to this point, it says that the x term in the numerator becomes negligible. So then it's going to be, so 
as a conclusion, the limit is zero, which is not quite right because the um, the power of the numerator and denominator at this point is still the same, so we might have some um, limit, like finite limits here. But then I'm gonna uh, giving it another prompt. All right, so you using the conjugate term and then you replace x by negative absolute value of x because we taking the functions to negative infinity. So it's process of this correctly, and then the next steps replace x by negative x, and it's simplify replacing each of them, um, trying to simplify it, and then jump to the conclusions that uh, x go to negative infinity, negative x go to positive infinity, so, and using the, the limit of the numerator to make a conclusion about the limit of the function, which is not quite right. So give another prompt, um, use a conjugate term, replace x by negative x, and then to factor the x, 9x squared out uh, in the square root term, you factor the 9x squared out. So let's follow uh, the step, first step conjugate term, second step, replace x by negative absolute value x, simplify it, and then factor out the 9x squared, uh, would give you, give us 3x square root x squared, which is correct here. X goes to negative infinity, negative x goes to positive infinity, and square root goes to 1, yes. So then the limit is, uh, and then the function is simplifying to this function, which is correct. However, when it's trying to combine the numerator, uh, simplify the numerator, it made a mistake. Because um, negative 3x absolute value of x times 1 is negative 3 absolute value of x. Negative 3 minus negative should be negative 6. Um, so because this simplification step is incorrect, that leads to an incorrect answer. So then I try to fix this uh, simplification step. Uh, use the fact that this is going to be equal to negative 6 absolute value of x, and then gives the answer again multiply by the conjugate, replace x by negative square root of x. Um, and down to use this fact, then is simplify the functions down to this term, canceling out this absolute value of x. And the top and the bottom, give it the solutions to be 1 over 6, which is a correct answer. Um, it's 3x plus square root of 9x squared minus 9 minus x. Okay. So in this function, if x goes to positive infinity, um, then the function goes to positive infinity. Because if you plug infinity here, infinity here, you should get positive infinity. However, if x goes to negative infinity here, and you see that it's approaching to the line uh, around this line. And then let's see if uh, you plug negative a very big number here, it will give you 0 0.16. And 1 over 6 is about the value of the fraction uh, 1 over 6. So then you, if you plot the function 1 over 6, you can see that the functions the green functions always approach uh, approaches to the red functions never touch it right uh, as you go it doesn't matter how far you go it's just going to always approach into the red function so that means the limit this function at x go to negative infinity is positive is um, one over six well to be honest i'm very impressed with the last example when um chat gbt couldn't find the answer correctly at first but with some guidance it could fix its own answer to the correct one